The genre that is VTubing has established itself as a genre that came with a bang and is here to stay for the foreseeable future. And with a whole new genre, comes a whole new subculture born in the weeb world with its own customs. And... Uh... Customs, yes. But a specific custom that is mostly unique to VTubers, and big streamers but shut up I know you first learned it from whole life, is super chatting. At first glance, this action can be compared to painting your money a certain color and yeeting it to the stratosphere. Blue Super Chat? Paint your money blue and flush it down the drain. Yellow Super Chat? Put it in an egg and egg the shit out of your neighbors. Red Super Chat? Paint the bills in the blood of your enemies and dispose it in their Weebs have had a long history with the trait of throwing absurd amounts of money on literal images. But it would seem like we have devolved from throwing money at PNGs to throwing money for color palettes on a comet. Despite this, the trend is most certainly not going away, seeing as the top super chatted people around the world is completely dominated by VTubers. Why? Why would anyone throw money for color palettes, you may ask? Well, there are several good reasons. No, really, they're good reasons. It's not a waste. I can stop whenever I want to. I swear. The first big reason, in my opinion, is the community aspect. As with any big streamer or YouTuber, when their community is huge, there are often long-running jokes and traits that the people just never ever shut up about. Think pizza crust and boneless versus inbone chicken, and you already know I'm talking about a certain monk versus a certain monkey. It just so happens that this gotcha addicted weeb community, for better or worse, has transferred their money throwing skills to VTubing. Yes, throwing money is the joke. We've turned burning cash into a joke! Anime girl wants to buy something? Well, she needs the money for it, doesn't she? Anime girl is using the toilet? Gotta flush with some money! America is throwing money? Fuck them, we gotta one-up them! said the nation of maple syrup and apologies. Honestly, there's probably a part of it fueled by people's fear of missing out, but it's kind of become a staple in the culture. It's fun throwing money as a herd because you feel it a part of the community. Obviously, the amount of money donated can vary from small pocket change to what the fuck go buy a fucking house. But regardless, the feeling it leaves is the satisfaction of participating in a group activity with your best friends. It's simply a fun time. But you know what's even more fun? Going against what the anime girl wants. What I'm trying to say is, when she tells you not to donate anymore because you should stop starving yourself, the obvious thing to do is go against both what she and your body is telling you and throw the remaining of your rent at her because haha it's funny. Eviction is worth the joke. Really. The second reason is an obvious one, and the entire reason Super Chat was invented in the first place. Yes, attention from your waifu. I mean, it's a weeb's dream come true, right? What's a little money compared to your favorite anime girl saying your name? China beat! But really, it's no different from donating to your favorite Twitch streamer for them to read a message. That's quite literally the purpose of Super Chat. So yes, you're certainly paying for a color palette, but it's like wearing a red suit to a wedding! You're special! You're different! You stand out from the peasant crowd! Okay, I know my analogies suck, shut up! The difference between VTubers and streamers, however, is the dynamic between streamer and viewer. Now, this is a whole other topic I want to do another video on because yes, I'm a VTuber addict who has a history of blood painted money, but in general, many streamers are seen by viewers as a friend, as someone they may be able to connect to by learning more about them on stream. Therefore, they still feel human to us. This is not really the case with VTubers. Yes, they're all gods that have come down to our mortal world with the three prayers a day of the weebs. Get your waifu scrolls of prophecy and start the rituals because waifuism was the real religion all along. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm not saying you can't connect with them, but the dynamic is different because to a certain extent, a lot of VTubers put up and act as an anime girl because, uh, that's kind of their thing. Yes, they still talk about things like going on vacation, locking themselves out of their house, and fondling each other, but because of the anime girl act, combined with the fact that they generally don't show their face, 
It's difficult for us to truly perceive them as the same as us. They kind of exist in a 2.5D plane. Throwing money then has all the more meaning to us, stupid weebs, because it's like we're actually giving money to our beloved anime girls that we've wanted to simp for so long, instead of giving Kadokawa another 100 bucks for the fucking 50th Daki Makura this year. We get the best of both worlds because they can interact and sometimes relate to us, like humans, but still feel like anime girls. It makes the donation all the more compelling. The last and most obvious reason is... Well, to support their favorite content creator. Yes, yes, it's a cop-out answer, get off my case. I'm a coward, but at least I'm a correct coward. Many of these VTubers are genuinely amazing, talented content creators. Kali's raps reached all the way to the filthy normies. Marine has some of the best stupidly entertaining talking ability I've ever seen. And whatever the fuck Hachima is on is some of the most unique content I've seen on the platform. The VTuber aspect allows them to make content in a new way, opening up new opportunities to make amazing and or very unique content. And people, just like with any other form of content, like supporting their favorite content creators. Yeah, that's it. What? This is not a uni essay. I don't have to fucking drag this point to 2,000 words. Also, fuck you, 10 minute mark. I don't care about you enough to go on a 5 minute rant on why people like supporting their favorite creators. You get it. The VTubing culture is still a new and booming one, and Super Chat is certainly one of the more... interesting aspects of it. Look, I'm trying not to make us look like cardboard lolly addicts. Stop making me sound like a drug dealer. And while over Super Chatting may be a problem to some, as long as it's done in moderation and affordable, there's nothing wrong with using a bit of colored money to hang out with your wee brothers and sisters. Super Chatting culture looks like it's here to stay based on these what the fuck buy a house and another house stats. So get your magic money card and prepare to open fire. This culture is gonna last until all us weebs go bankrupt and starve to death, isn't it? Ah well, dying with Simp Sonic too much on your gravestone isn't a bad way to go out. Sonic is best girl after all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed and want more anime, memory, and I guess weeb content in general, then be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I'll keep doing my best with the videos, even if it's 80% shitposting. With that, I'll see you next time. After throwing 10 more Akasupas and getting evicted for not paying rent.